Hi again, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at a still VG86 handheld blower. Um, I've had this in my unit for quite a while, tucked in the corner, so I thought I'd get it out and have a look. Um, it's complete, the only thing that's missing is the end bit of pipe on the blower part, but I have got a spare one of them. So yeah, um, I've got everything I need. Um, firstly, I'll take the exhaust off and have a look through the exhaust port to see if there's any damage to the piston. Then I'll take off the carburetor side and look and check through there as well to see if there's any damage to the piston from that side. If that all looks good, I know I've basically got a good machine. So then I'll go on to the carburetor side of things and the fuel system. I'll clean out the tank, uh, I'll service it and I'll clean the carburetor out and um, put a new diaphragm gasket in it. Um, or it possibly could have a new car because they do cheap ones for these. So we'll see when we get to that stage which um, direction I go. Um, before we get on to that, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, please subscribe and like, helps my channel grow. And if you could do that, it'd be much appreciated. And yeah, we might as well get on and have a look at this blower and see if we can fix it. Um, I'm hoping this one's gonna be quite a quick fix. Um, you know, they're quite easy and they're quite easy to work on and so, if it's all okay, if the piston's all okay, I should be able to fix it quite quick. So we'll get on to that now. So here it is on the bench, we have the steel BG86C and um, for some reason, three bolts have been took out of this. Tried to pull it over and the uh, recall felt like it was catching. Well, not catching, you know, just made a funny noise anyway. Um, so I can might as well pull it off now because it should come off and is it working? Yeah, it is actually working. It's not going back in very well, but they are actually working. Because they do play up these, do. But that seems to be okay. I haven't got a clue what's wrong with this. It comes with a load of other stuff. So, is it seized? No, it's not seized. So, it's going to be my usual tooch. Right, check on this again. Exhaust off, have a look at the um, piston from there. And do the same with the carburetor. The carburetor is a bit mucky looking, so I'll um, give that a clean. Put a new diaphragm and gasket in that if everything else looks okay. It might be a quick fix, but what I'm gonna do off camera, I'm just gonna take that front of the pipe, nozzle, whatever you wanna call it, off, so I can get to the exhaust a bit easier and move it around a bit easier. Um, but yeah, it might be okay. Um, the nozzle end is missing, but the second part, I've only got that part, but I think I got one. Um, and I thought the recoil was gonna be no good. That's what I thought the actual um, problem was, but I didn't know, I only pulled it over quick. I didn't realize the screws were missing. I'll also check for spark because the coil could have thrown up a problem. That's why something might have, well, someone might have um, discarded it. We'll, do, we'll just take that out quickly so we can test for spark. Just bring you in a little closer for that and we'll, we'll look for spark. Uh, make sure that the stop don't get stuck on because they sometimes stick on them systems there, do. Now let's see if it's got spark. I'm sure you can see that there's some sparks going around in there. So yeah, it does spark. So I haven't got to worry about that side of things. So now the exhaust is off. I haven't actually looked in there yet, um, but we'll have a look now. It's a little bit um, discolored in one area, but it's passable, it's good enough. That is all right. So I'll take the carb side off now, just so um, I can just check in that side. Generally it's okay in that side, but I want to do the carb anyway and give it a good clean and everything. So um, I'll just get this apart. There's um, that bit that comes off on these. Plastic bit fits on there like so. Um, there's an air filter which I might try and keep, because they're not that cheap. If I go and damage again now. There we go, that's out. And there's two eight mils in there. So I'll get them out, I'll just use the 
small backo set. I like these little blowers. I've got two of my own. Um, well, this one is, is my own as well. So that's three, but I don't need three. So I'll probably um, won't hang on to this one, but a little bit. Um, see if I can get that out of there because it's getting caught up on that a little bit, but it should clear you, yeah, it does. Then it's just, let me see if I can get it around the other side. Then actually there's that pipe there for a start so if i can get that off without damaging the pipe i'll just start it i think it's started let's get these little no i didn't actually start and get that off i don't think That's a bit stuck on there. Ugh, broke it. So, if I do something, I think I've got a spare. I don't think it's a problem. Then the handle's got to come off. a bit easier on that it's annoying i broke that but these things happen so i'll just undo these off camera and then i'll um can get the throttle wire out so they're undone now and you have to take this off because i'll just take that off there because you need actually a bit of string around there because I need to remove that rod there. So you pull that out, then the carb will come off. It just unhooks now, yeah, that's out. Goes that way, that little hook side, that side's flat. There. That side is slightly hooked. So that's the side that goes on the carb. Quite easy and straightforward. There is one more fuel pipe on the back, but I wanted to get the carb off first, which I have done to get that pipe off. really mucky you now you won't even be able to see what I'm doing These are two of the most stubborn pipes I've ever known to get off, I think. Got a little bit to play with on that one, so I think I might. <sighs> Has damaged the end of the pipe slightly. Yeah, I just didn't want to come off on there. Carbs off. Um, yeah, annoying I broke that bit. But yeah, like I said, these things happen. And yeah, I'll get it. I'll find another one. Hopefully I've got one in the drawer. So that's about where I'm at at the moment. We'll move on with this when um, I've got the new diaphragm and gasket for this carb. Or if I can't fix that, 
I should just buy a new carb because they're cheap anyway. So not really a problem. And that's about all I can think is wrong with this. We'll just have a look in there. That block will actually have to come off to check in there. So now that is off, there you can see, and I can see the piston really well in there. And it's like no in there. I'll just show you. how good it is it's really good so yeah i think uh piston that's all right so it's just a matter of the carb sorting out the carb and a good cleanup and it probably will be okay so now the new carburetor and a few other little bits have come for this uh steel bg86 blower um that's a new carb and it's slightly different it's come with that bit on it i've got the original one here and it hasn't got that on it but look at that, that's where I broke the little nozzle off. So, hasn't got that out of that side. All it's got is a little breather piece there. But on that one, the breather piece is there. So, I had a little look, and that's like the, well, that is the back of the air filter housing. So let me just work out how that fits on. It fits on a bit like, sort of like that. And I looked, and actually I actually have marked it with a drill now, but there's actually a hole there. There's like a pilot hole in the middle. And if you look there, it's that there. So if I drill that out, that is going to fit through like so. So I've got some drill bits here. I'm going to drill that out, and then hopefully I can get everything fitted back on then, if you see it there. So yeah, I'll just get it positioned and I'll drill that through. So I've got a few drill bits here, one small one to start with. And then I'm going to probably go through with that one finally. So I'll step it up with that one next. And yeah, and then the big one finally. So let's see if we can just drill this. And slow. So we've got that out. I'm just going to... Take it away from the bench and just blow all the little bits out in the bin. So now I've done that hole there, slightly off actually, but what I might do now is drill it. I'm just gonna drill it from that. Yeah, I'll probably drill it from that side. So I'll go up to the next size. Looks like I've got a blunt drill bit. Let me just get another one. It might be a bit bigger, but it's not going to matter. It's a new one. So I'll do the same again. I'll just blow that off. Uh, it's not too bad now at all. Um, it's still not going to quite be big enough. So I'm just going to match up that drill bit to there. And actually that's about right. That's an 8mm. So I'm just going to go through the 8mm. And then I'm going to, yeah, stick with that I think. I'm going to be fine. So I just drill this for, I'm going to go actually with the slow bit on the drill this time. So I'm have to go faster. Reels catching. Ah, uh, there we go. It caught a bit of the drill there, but we've done it. So I'm just going to blow that off again. I'm going to clean that bits off the bench, and then we'll see if that fits okay. It looks to be just right. Um, I don't know whether this was necessary or not, but I've put three O-rings on there, just so. If you see that hole there, which I've just drilled, it fits on like so. Holds all in line, but it just sort of seals out just to stop if there was any uh, dust, muck, or anything to get in there. Just put them on there, it's not going to hurt. And I think, um, yeah, actually just helps a little bit. So when that goes together, they'll be nice and tight, the mo rings, and 
yeah should be all good so now all that is sorted i can get this um carburetor back on the blower and um, the gasket is already in place there i peeled that off the old car it didn't come with a new one well it did but the holes are in the wrong place so um that wasn't much good oh, and actually i've just forgot something i'm just gonna have to take the handle off again that top handle i'll do that off camera and get that rod in place i will show you that but i'll just take the handle off first so what i'm going to do first i've got that top handle well the cover of the top handle off there and um then i can put that rod in when it comes to it uh but firstly i'm gonna put the carburetor on well the fuel pipes on so i've got it in in place so i'm hoping i have just trimmed off the old fuel lines hoping i can reuse them which that bottom one's always a little bit tricky to get in because especially more so as i've cut a little bit off it but i could have changed them but they look okay if i can get them on they'll be good that pipe was quite hard to get on but it's got it on. I know why because I cut the end off so the pipe was thinner if you see that end is slightly flared out still so that one should go should go on there reasonably easy so we'll have a go Not far off there really yeah I think that's okay so we've got that one on now so both the fuel lines are on so now oh, we can get that rod in let me move it up slightly so remember there's a little hook bit on there's a bit that's slightly more bent then on the other side so we can hook that under that piece there you might not be able to see that very well there's a piece just there, a little hole just on the back it's actually that one on there that's on the old carpet it's that one there and that sits at the back in there so we'll just get that hooked in then it just goes onto the bottom of the Throttle lever and then just pushes in. Yep, that will work okay. Um, I'm just going to get that handle back on now so everything's in place. You can just see there. So find the little Got the impact somewhere there it is it has actually got fuel in at the moment because I want to change the fuel filter but it actually has got fuel in it but I think it's Aspen pre-mixed fuel so I don't really want to waste that. So what I'm going to do is probably tip that out, then just strain it through something and then probably reuse that because I don't know how long I'll have this machine sitting about, but the Aspen might as well go back in. It looks clean, but I'm just going to double check it. So now we're to that stage. That should all push into place. Let's try the throttle. Perfect. You can see it moving there. Perfect. So now we can put the other gasket on the back. And that there isn't it doesn't really matter what way that goes, but got that. it is snagging up slightly on them. No, it's alright. It's alright. So we snag up slightly on them O-rings I put on, but it didn't in the end. So that's perfect, that fits perfect in there. You can see hopefully where that's going through there. Which that should be okay. Only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is there's a plastic bit that pushes on there which is here i just want to check if that's any part of it have i done that right i 
if that's right, it's not going to be an issue. I think it was right, so that's, n that's not going to be an issue. When 100% sure how that fitted on there. Actually, I will take that off a second just to. Yep, it's all. You didn't see that, but it all clicked in place there. So that's all good. It doesn't interfere with that hole at all there. So now let's get that. in I usually put a little nut in there wrong side a little nut in there and then put them in the nut I'm using just stops it going too deep in the socket so these are easier to start that's one a bit little nut is still in there as well so we can do that with that one. that's all done so I've now drained the fuel and I'm just gonna pull out the fuel pipe so I can get the fuel filter off if I can fish it out just about got it I'm not sure whether this is original one I'm sure they're not meant to have these I'm sure they're meant to have ones like that they're not so weighted doesn't need to be weighted not like these ones so I'm going to go with the one that come with a kit that come with a carb because that's what's usually in them ones like that it's all good so it's got a new filter in it now like I said before this is a old trampoline spring tool works good for fishing out the fuel filters so I just had a look at the fuel I drained out of the tank and I thought there's little bits of grit in it so I just and put that in my bottle of fuel I use to wash things down and I'm gonna put new fuel in it. That is my general practice to put new fuel in and I have got some of this. Where is it? Aspen. And this is a two stroke version one. They do do them for the four stroke as well. Um, but I'll use that because what I can do when I test the next tool, I do like this, I can just use the same fuel out of this one because I know the tank will be cleared. So I can keep using it from machine to machine rather than keep the tanks full. But I'll give this a good try out first on the Aspen. And um, yeah, that's how I'm doing it at the moment rather than, you know, because it's expensive. So I'm just move it from machine to machine. So if I use an Aspen, I'm gonna know the carburetors, well, the, it's a new one on this, but you know, if I've refurbed them, cleaned them and refurbed them, I know it's going to have aspen through, so it's not going to have sort of normal ethanol petrol through, which could go off over winter. So I know that the carb's going to be sitting in something that's not going to go off because I think the shelf life for that is like five years, the aspen. So yeah, it's going to be um, easy long enough. This is a machine that might not hang around too long anyway because I shall probably sell it and being a blower it will probably sell quite quick these are quite good sellers um what else have i done off camera i have a new spark plug in it and i have screwed the exhaust back on so that's that done actually apart from the side cover i've got the side cover but the bolts are missing so I'm going to have to see if I can root around in the drawer and find some bolts. I'm not sure I have the correct ones, but I can probably find some other ones and put washers on them to fit. So I'll see what I've got and I'll be back with you. That's easy. Just push it on and position the rubber in place. So I've just put the main blower tube on there, you can only just see it. And then I'm just gonna prime that just as if the new carb primes. That's the issue I've had with some of these copy carbs before, they don't seem to prime. This is just a quick test, just to see how it starts up. I'll do a proper test um, tomorrow, it's dark now and wet outside. I did have a bit of a job 
and getting the primer to prime up, but I just kept pressing it, moved the machine around in different angles and it seemed to do the job. So don't be just try and get in shot the best I can. We have a runner, seems to run well. Um, I did just actually play around with the fuel adjustment a little bit when it wouldn't prime, so I might just have to tweak them a little bit, but I'll warm it up and then do that after uh, then, and then you can see it running and performing at its best. So I'll be back with you tomorrow in daylight so you can see it working. As you just saw, the still BGA6C blower is working fine. It started fine today um, and it's running fine, it's revving out fine. Yeah, it's um, a good machine now. Um, so yeah, you just seen it blowing them leaves, blew them easy. Yeah, and it's working as it should. So um, I'm pleased with this one, nice quick fix. And yeah, nice little tool there. So um, I'll leave the video there. So thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon. So bye for now.